Now, it is no big surprise that Long Beach has been used in so many movies and films as the backdrops and TV shows. It's been included in such great movies such as Citizen Kane, Gone with the Wind, and Star Wars. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Okay, you caught me there. None of those were. But Long Beach has been the background for, for so many great movies. So today what I'm gonna do is take you around Long Beach. I'm gonna show you the movie. I'm gonna show you the scene and I'm gonna show you the location of where they were shot. And I even took my drone out to get some great footage, but we had a little incident. Does anybody know a drone doctor? Cause I could choose one right now. But let's get started on this epic adventure of where everything was filmed here in Long Beach. But let's start this off with a little journey from America's favorite little buddy. Passenger set sail that day for a three hour tour. A three hour tour. So, do you recognize this apartment building? Now, don't think I'm gonna get out here and do the dance. Nah. Burn, baby, burn. Long Beach is the new Miami. Burn, baby, burn. Come on, that was my imitation of David. Hollywood, are you watching? I'm ready. This next movie, it mentions Long Beach throughout the entire movie. And it features a star who was raised right here in Long Beach for a brief period of time. If you're liking this video, go ahead and give it a like because my name is Steve Arthur and I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area powered by Nationwide Real Estate Executives. Now I do put out these videos about Long Beach every single week about where you want to live and where you want to play. If this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you will be notified every single time that I do put out a video. And like I said, I do put out these videos every single week. Let's get back to this one. Now, this next movie that is featured here in Long Beach is a sequel to an old TV series. Now, these old TV series, Chips, Emergency, they used to film down here in Long Beach all the time. Now, this is the remake of Chips. Check this out, and it's down on the beach. And this is the part of the beach where they did some crazy jumps. What do you mean? And this next scene is right here at the Pike. In about a month and a half, the Grand Prix cars will be roaring right exactly where they are. And right behind me is Horny Corner, where Billy Bob was serving up some great cocktails in Bad Santa. Put the drink down right now. Put the drink down right now. Okay, maybe drinking some uh, cocktails in Bad Santa. Right. Yeah, it was just easier to turn the sound down on that one than try to censor out everything. Okay, I don't think Billy Bob was the bartender here at this scene. Now this is Virginia Country Club where two homes were featured, actually three homes were featured in epic films such as American Pie and Ferris Bueller's Days Off. Let's go check them out.
pal still looks the same. Well, you remember when the boys were driving to the lake house for their epic summer? Well, it wasn't a lake house, it was in Seal Beach. This is a great, great city. Now, let's go check on the house that the boys are painting in American Pie 2 for their summer jobs. Uh, I don't think you guys did a really good job on it. Why is everybody running in this neighborhood? Okay, here's a fun fact for you. The Ferris Bueller's house and the house that the boys painted are right across the street from each other. I'll just give you the last two digits of their addresses. The Ferris Bueller day off is 6-0 and the house that the boys painted is 6-5. And of course, who could forget Ron Burgundy at the lighthouse? I guess I have to take you at your word, number two. <laughs> Come on, Ron, why are you calling me number two? And who didn't love seeing Tom Selleck kick the bejeebers out of a crooked cop in An Innocent Man filmed right here in Shoreline Village? Now, after the spruce goose left the dome, they didn't know what to do with the dome. So they started experimenting. They had rock concerts there. They had a uh, professional roller uh, derby there. And what they did is they converted the dome into a soundstage for Hollywood production. And they made such movies as Batman with Val Kilmer, and it was dubbed as the Bat Cave. And also in the movie Stargate, in this film, it was the time transporter. Hold it. Several as we have ever been able to get. Now, Long Beach has had some great actors and actresses roll through this town and play some fantastic roles. But we cannot forget about the sports stars either. And this is where Michael Jordan did his big scene in Space Jam, right here in Long Beach, California at Blair Field. Awesome scene. Basically, all the homes in Dexter were located right here in Los Altos. The noisy neighbor with the dog, she's right here too. Angel's house, right down the street. But right now, let's go take you to Rita's. This is the playground where Dexter had the flashback to being young, and he told his dad that he wanted to kill the class bully. Well, this is the playground that he walked out there with the knife and then his dad grabbed him and said, you can't do this. The basketball courts are right over there. Got a little construction going on right now, getting ready for the school year. But uh, this is the school ground. Well, if you remember Dexter's sister's beach house, well, that's it right behind me. Obviously, it's been sold and uh, remodeled a little bit. And you can always find them filming somewhere here in Long Beach. This is for the TV series 911. And this is in Lakewood Village right now off of Bellflower and Carson. Now, I remember when I was a little kid, my brothers and I, we walked over to Lakewood Village and we watched them film a scene to the TV show SWAT in this exact same location. Now, this part behind me was in a scene with Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston. Now, if you live in Long Beach, you know this bar. 
Matter of fact, I've even been in New York wearing my JoJo shirt and people yell out across, hey, JoJo's! It's awesome. It's kind of like a little family thing here, but this is JoJo's. It is a registered historical landmark of a bar. Fantastic inside and Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston were here. As a matter of fact, I think I might have to go inside and get a special right about now. And if you live in Long Beach, you know what I'm talking about. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of Long Beach and seeing where films are made. And granted, there's been a lot more films made. Lethal Weapon, Tenacious D, The Pick of Destiny. And there's just been a ton of movies that come rolling in here and film and pretend they're in a different location. And like I said earlier, my name is Steve Arthur and I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area and all the surrounding cities. So if you or anybody that you may know is thinking about buying or selling a home, all you gotta do is give me a call, shoot me a text, send an email, or just register on my website for your free gift. All my information is down below so I can have your back for your next move. Until next time, you take care. That's all, folks.